We're gonna get your stuff set up, okay? So you get warm. Oh, it's cold out today. It says it's only seven miles mile per hour winds, but I don't believe it for a second. Winston wanted his jacket off, so now he's in the playpen all snuggled up. Tomorrow we're supposed to have winds around 26 miles per hour, so I contemplated even putting out my rug because later this evening I'll have to put away like my chair and his playpen, just fold it all down and weigh it down essentially. So of course I have my water table, which is good to weigh it down. I have some bigger rocks. I'm not sure Winston will want to play today <laughs> in this wind and it's chilly, but we only have to get through these next couple of days. The other thing I can do, you know what, I can put like got some Fresca sparkling water. I got my watermelon sparkling water. Oh, sorry. I hope my hair's getting everywhere. So those will help weigh it down also. And then on my project list, I have to install my new heat shields on my front windows. But since the sun is coming in, at least into my driver door, I'll leave it open for now and in my windshield so the sun comes in. I put out my solar. Even though my VTOM is at 96%, I put it out. I want to have it to 100% today as long as possible because tomorrow we will have no sun. And tonight and tomorrow, I'm probably going to be, well, tonight definitely, and tomorrow night, I will need the heating blanket. So tomorrow during the day, I can probably get away with not using the heating blanket, but I need my power station to last as long as possible. Put out my losing light. Winston's playpen is over here because I set it up so he could get into it while I put the rug and everything out. So he'll get on that soon. Or I'll put it on there soon. And then, oh yeah, I have a couple. I have tomatoes. I have these crisps I need to put with my dry food. I'm kind of close to the road right here, but that's okay. Tupperwares are good size, but the lids don't close very well. Oh, come on. Well, I will deal with that later. Okay, now I think I can work on getting the inside of my van organized and I can put my new heat shield on this window to start. Yeah, let's do that. I got my front passenger side heat shield installed. Well, in installed, put in. I just had to pop it in. So these are the suction cups that have the little hooks on them. The hooks ensure that the suction cups won't come out and you can pull on them to pull out the heat shield out of the window but it is nice and snug in there even a little bit long which i actually don't mind because i'd rather have it bigger than small so i'm happy with that i'm keeping this strap of velcro on it because this is if you need to take the heat shields out and roll them up and i have cut that strap off of my other heat shields because they stay in there pretty permanently this is my um, this is this window, but I keep it on this on the side here. And I'm thinking that I might actually roll the front ones up for storage purposes because those obviously cannot be up permanently. But what I noticed was we don't really experience a ton of condensation 
in Arizona in the desert because it's so dry, but we have been hitting freezing temperatures and even colder than that, and we've had some rain, so there has been some condensation. So what I've noticed is with these heat shields, there is not condensation on these windows that I use my heat shields on. Um, I will have it on, I've had it on my front windows and my windshield because I haven't had the heat shields on them. The rest of my windows are fine. I was sitting on my ottoman last week when I was just waking up and I actually took down this heat shield because I, I figured I want to let the sun in, but as soon as I took off the heat shield, just this rush of cold came in, like I felt it through the window. So I know that my heat shields are doing their job of keeping me warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. But I'm happy with this because now I don't think I'll have to put up my privacy curtain and I can actually use that curtain up here in the mirror area where I kind of have that little bit of an opening from my uh, front wind visor, but I'll play around with it. It's actually warmed up significantly in the last hour. I'm grateful for that. Okay. Here's my heat shield. Looks good, looks good. Oh, let's see if we can focus there. Looks nice, real nice. All right, so this is my standard windshield visor for from Amazon. Oh, I can fix it a little bit on the bottom and the sides there. But my main issue is the light that not necessarily comes in through there, but if I'm stealth camping, people can see light coming out of there. So now that I have the heat shields in place, I don't necessarily need this curtain across my um, my front cabin here, between the cockpit and the cabin, if you will, like I'm flying an airplane or something. So now I can use this curtain, which is two yards of black fabric, and I can kind of just like put it in that opening. And that'll be really nice because now I just, I don't have to deal with a curtain between here and I'm excited about that. So later when it gets dark and I'm set for the night, I'll show you all what that looks like. I forgot to <laughs> press my 12 volt button in the van when I had my Rock Pals plugged in. So it did not charge on my way here. So I have it plugged into my Rofi panel so I can get that up to 100%. And of course I have my VTOMIN 600 as a backup. I have my Jackery 240 as a backup. So one day of no sun, I will be just fine. After I get my solar done charging up, and probably around 5 p.m. I'll put this one in. I will put everything away. There are things I'm not taking out, of course, like my favorite little white table. I'm not gonna put out my dish rack. I'm not even gonna leave my sink out because it's going to be so crazy with the wind. Are you playing with your fox? Oh, what are you doing with that? Oh, you do wanna play. Oh, <laughs> you're silly. Oh, you kill that fox. You tell who's boss. Who's boss of the fox? Who's the boss of the fox? Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's no way you're 12 years old. There's no way. You're just a puppy. <laughs> He's been so much more playful ever since we started those um, wolf's hip and joint shoes. Last year, oh my gosh, like, he plays so much more often now. <gasps> <Go away! laughs> you're still, okay, you're done. Was that it? Okay. All right, play, ses play session is over. So back to where I was at. I'm not putting out certain things. I will wait until Friday. We just, have, we just have to get through tomorrow, and then Friday's going to be beautiful. And next week, it's going to be highs of, like, 63 to 65 every day. So I'm excited. And honestly, I don't mind the challenge of having a day of cold and extreme wind because it's just, I learn something, I grow in the process. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Every once in a while, of course. For now, I took the fabric curtain and I just kind of stuffed it up there. <laughs> so tonight what I'll do when it's dark is I will go outside and look for cracks of light to see if I need to adjust it or actually like put it in there for real, but that honestly might work fine. All right, the bed is made for tonight. We have our micro fleece, our heating blanket, our super thick blanket, 
we have our down blanket if necessary, which probably <laughs> will be. I'm sure Winston will sleep with me, so he helps keep me warm too. I have my sweatpants, my hoodie. I have my wool socks for tonight. I have this thing for uh, my neck, and I can put it over my nose if I need to. And this is an alpaca blanket that's super warm. That's on Winston's bed, so we have that if we need. I mean, we have extra blankets and things, but we kind of start with this, and then if I need to in the night, I will add the down blanket, and that's normally enough, even for freezing temperatures. Wow, you look snoozy. <laughs> it's not even 3.30 yet. <laughs> kiddo and I are in the van for the night. I took down everything outside, well not everything, I took down Winston's playpen, put down my chair, I secured everything because the wind is supposed to pick up around 9 a.m. tomorrow. Um, but we are in the van. You can see behind me the curtain I put up uh, in the front works really well. So now I don't have to put the curtain right here. I can see a little bit of light coming through over there, but that's just, I can adjust my windshield thing. The uh, that top portion and the two windows were my biggest issues, uh, problems that I needed to solve. But I really like the fact that I don't have to have a curtain back here now. That's really nice. So it's only supposed to get down to 42 tonight. It's going to be, that, I mean, that's fairly warm. But tomorrow night is supposed to be 29. So it will be cloudy 56 tomorrow with extreme winds. We plan on having to spend the entire day in the van which is why I made sure I did all my prep today. Um, it is around six o'clock, so I am preserving all the warmth inside. I mean, it's still like, it's like 58 out right now. It's not bad, but it is nice and cozy in the van. I might not even have to like wear my wool socks and stuff tonight because 42 outside, like that's really decent inside the van. And we had our dinner, so we're all set for the night. And that will wrap up this video. In the next one, I will talk about how we are dealing with the wind and preparing for a 29 degree evening. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. I will see you next time.